one of the best teachers I ever had was first semester my 10th grade year and he encouraged me a lot. He made me enthusiastic about the subject matter. He incorporates with how we learn and how he teaches and like to him. He used modern day music and old music and stuff we can relate to. He like he's not my teacher anymore but like whenever I have a question about any subject like he'll help me and like go to him about anything. It's really nice and really respectful to the students and tries their best to teach the material. He understands the students and he really cares about if you do well or not. He makes the subject real interesting for you. The best teachers that I've had at Westside are probably the ones that are the most organized and the ones that actually come to school prepared for their lesson for the day. And he knows everything about the subject and he brings it to us in the best way, like the way we would understand it. And uh, basically just challenged us all year and pushed us and got us used to high school and he wouldn't just accept mediocre, he demanded your best. They, um, they know what they're talking about and so if you ask them a question they'll say oh well let me go look that up or let me write that down and I'll find out for you tonight and tell you tomorrow. He like he really liked the subject and like he broke it down like piece by piece and if you raise your hand like he'll take the class period to um, go over what you didn't know. They have been caring and they actually act like they wanted to be a teacher. You know they had their notes but then they went in depth with the notes and they took time personally to sit down with me and go over the stuff. We did notes, we did some projects, we experimented with it and um, we did an overall view of everything. If we decided we didn't want to do anymore, they, they helped us and tried to get us to, they tried to inspire us to do more and they come up with great projects that are actually fun that don't seem like a waste of time. I can really tell a lot when a teacher really enjoys what they're doing and um, when they're not enjoying it. Um, there's just a difference. I can just, I can see it in them. Teachers had a positive attitude has definitely increased my potential and my want to learn more about whatever subject it was. They were still excited to be in class every day and th that excitement was just infectious. Like when you ask questions, they don't brush you off or get aggravated if you keep asking you don't understand, they take their time and show you that they're there to help you or whatever. If you're telling a student they're doing you know, a good job, then that obviously makes them feel better and want to do a good job. Teach with excitement and enjoys what they do, always smiling, laughing, joking around. He works hard. And I just enjoy his class. And he, he helped me through a lot of stuff through front and ninth grade and on up. We had fun. He all made the learning interesting and it was kind of easy. And we just had fun in the class. He liked it. He liked to have fun with the kids and all that. Overall, I think West I have great teachers and they love their students. And they just want their students to do well in school. I just love being around her because she always make, make you feel better and feel warm, welcome. He helped he help me learn better because he keeps it class fun. I love going to her class and even now that I'm not in her class I stop by every once in a while to see her and see how she's doing and it, to see if anyone bothered her in her class because I don't want anyone bothering my favorite teacher at this school. My ninth grade teachers, they seemed as though they didn't care because they knew that I was going to drop out or just like any other statistic that I wasn't going to make it or I was going to get pregnant. And I feel like they like they underestimated all of us, a lot of us. My worst teacher, she used to get on me for, for everything. I'm not going to name any names. <laughs> However, this person is like, I do have to admit, they are nice. However, when they're talking to you, it's like they interrupt 
what you were saying and try to get your point across. When you're trying to get your point across. Where's T2? I don't really have none. They just have their own rules and I just respect what they do. When you try to ask them a question, don't they really don't like let you answer it or nothing because you just be confused. So. Some of them may speak with a slow tone, just you know, stroll along slow and it just bores me. And I try not to fall asleep, I try to keep, stay up. We'll sit in class the whole hour and 30 minutes and just talk about dress code. No hoods, tucking your shirt, wear your IDs. And it's like, okay, where's the education come in? The worst teachers I've had were ones that, I don't know, were kind of jaded, I guess. They assumed that all high school students are exactly the same, and they didn't t treat people like individuals. When you ask for help, they don't, they all quit, so like, try to shut you up, not to ask questions or want to help you. It's teachers that have half the class feeling, like over half the class. They don't hold students accountable for their work or other, you know, assignments like that. Um, I think that's one of the biggest things that I have a problem with because when I see that, it makes me think that my work is less important. They don't try to vary from year to year what they teach. So if you have a friend that took the class last year, you know exactly what you're gonna do. Saying it's just, okay, this is my eight hour job. I get here, I do what I need to do. I don't care. They'll be kind of condescending to me and they'll kind of be like, well, why don't you understand that it's right here in front of you? And that's just something that really turns me off. And when they, when they treat me like that, it just makes me want to shut down and just stop learning. We went in the class and we were expected to learn everything ourselves. He knew the stuff, but he didn't know how to enforce it onto us to where we knew how to do it. And so we were basically clueless the whole year. You're too busy punishing, arguing, fussing, yelling shut up to see that, oh, there's a problem with that little girl. I guess the worst teacher I've had, um, they just kind of gave busy work every day and we, we never, I haven't learned a thing in those type classes. And she just, she just played the, the recorder or, or the tape that, that the subject was on, like she never took time to go over what, what we were supposed to learn. She knows everything about her subject, everything she's doing, but I'm not sure if she knows how to really bring it to, like, put it out for us, or I, I just don't like the way they uh, teach everything about it. Also, the teachers that you know, they're like, well, I plan for us to do this this week, but you know, I don't really feel like it today, or um, there's something going on, you know, this weekend with my brother's cousin and you know I don't really feel like doing this so we're just gonna push it back to next week and they may just sit around and may not really you know explain or just give book work it's very outspoken don't care what they say you always gotta yell you always have to take your attitude out on everybody else and he knew what how to do the problems but he didn't know how to teach it he would show us on the board, but he couldn't explain what he did or why he did it. You know, they're just kind of here, and they're just kind of like, well, you know, we got to learn something new today, guys. Sorry, you know. They just, if you ask them for help, they wouldn't really explain it to you. And then, some teachers just give you worksheets and just let you try to figure it out yourself without giving you any guidance. I don't think she knows what she's doing, like. She feels like she's like, I feel like sometimes she gets aggravated by this, and I don't appreciate that. Whenever you have one person in the class that does something wrong, they're like, oh, well, the whole class is going to get punished, so, you know, you have to write a paper now, and everyone gets punished for one person. I also had teachers whose classes I were taking that were like, you might as well not even come back to school. I don't even know why you're here. You might as well stay home. And so that's what I did. I followed their advice. And I stayed home, and I ended up failing my fourth, I mean, my second semester of my 10th grade year. The teachers that I didn't respect were the ones that didn't respect me. Um, I feel like you need to give respect in order to receive it. The teacher that had the least respect for me, 
I would say the teachers who just let me pass and go on with my education. Like, if I'm writing a term paper or something and you just like me and it wasn't the best term paper in the world and you just passed me just because I was a good student, I think you didn't have any respect for me at all because when I go off to college, like I was just saying, I'm going to be struggling with that specific thing and you weren't helping me. Because, like, she just wanted respect and, like, she just, she just, the time, like, the kind of teacher that, oh, she demand respect and, like, she don't give any respect back. And my least favorite teachers, I don't respect them because they never really took time to respect me. And probably the teacher I had the least respect for just didn't really care for what they were doing. They got it done, but just the minimum. Didn't really care what we did, just cared about assigning things and taking it up. And that didn't really like that. I least respect my unfavorite teacher because, I mean, she really doesn't give us as much as respect as we should have, as, like, as we give her. The only way I would lose respect for a teacher is if they did not have the best interests of the student in mind. And all of my teachers have always had my interests at heart and the student's interests at heart. So as long as you have the student's interests at heart, I think you're, you have my respect. I don't respect the teachers that, that yell at you for no reason or just get at you for everything. Yes. The teachers that I've had the least respect for would probably be the ones that they do, you know, they just punish the whole class, you know, whenever they can, and um, they don't really have control over their class. Control having control over your students is a big issue. But some teachers, then you have the really rude ones. The ones that they just don't care how much you try to respect them. Oh, they still gonna get rude. It doesn't matter. They just there to do their job, nothing else. I don't have to get to know you. I don't want to know you. Stuff like that. The teachers will try to treat the students like they're in kindergarten and if they do that, a lot of times the students are gonna treat them badly back. And there's gotta be an equilibrium in the way that students and teachers are treating each other. The teacher I'm always respect, I respect all teachers, but I just give them equal, equal respect. I don't treat none no less than the other ones. The teachers that I respected the most were definitely the ones that did treat each student individually and listened to their problems and were actually concerned and you felt like you could go to for more than just a classroom question, someone that you could confide in. Be better teachers definitely are more respectful to the student. Um, as far as I'm concerned, like all the classes I've been in, the teachers that I've definitely done best with are teachers who aren't rude, they're stern when they need to be, but they're never rude or they don't talk down to students. The teachers that I respect the most are the ones that, um, well, especially as a senior, they treat us like students, but then they also treat us like adults, too. I respected him because he took life, he, he looked at it outside of the box. He just didn't narrow everything down to where, oh yeah, whatever happens, happens. Yeah, some stuff he did say, whatever happens, happens, but other stuff he kind of looked deeper into it and tried to help you out with your problem. Respect the most. Uh, a teacher that uh, has a life outside of school and he still manages to give up a lesson every day and that, that's pretty good and he does so much extra. The teacher that respected me the most, what's different about this specific teacher is that they are willing to tell you what's the truth and know that it'll hurt your feelings, but they know that it'll help you in the long run. It's just how you take it. Why did I got respect for him? Because um, he did, to me he just broke down the subject and like I had him for two years, my sixth and seventh grade year. I respect her in every way. She respects me for everything I do, so I give the respect back. I have the most respect for are the ones that you can ask them any question and they'll say, well, let me go find out, you know, and if you need to get in touch with another teacher about something, they're like, well, you know, I'll send them an email for you, or they'll find out things for you and make sure that you know what's going on and they make sure that you're aware of everything that's happening at Westside. The reason I respect my favorite teacher is because if you get respect, you get respect. And I think if you can talk to a student level-headed and, you know, not 
I mean, obviously you'll be biased in your opinion sometimes, but just level-headed, not ever like talking down to a student, I think goes a far way in getting, earning their respect and gaining their, you know, their good wishes and their want to do well in their class. I don't think I really have least respect for anybody because because I've always learned respect your elders and I have respect for every teacher here at the school and they all respect me too, I think. <laughs> I respect him because he respects me, he respects my rights and he he makes the class easy to learn for the way he breaks it down to you as for him. And my teachers I respect, I respect every teacher, but of the, I respect the teachers the most that try their best to motivate their students. The teachers that I respect the most are the ones that are organized and the ones that do address you as a young adult. Um, they tell you their instructions and they're upfront about everything. They don't kind of, you know, beat around the bush. They're like, this is how it's going to be. These are my objectives for you. This is what I expect out of you. Um, this is what you're going to do in my class. And they tell you everything up front and they have it all planned out. And I think a teacher's best tool in, in controlling their class is having respect for the students. Um, if, I think if they have respect for the students, the students are going to have respect back to them. I respect all teachers because they have to give up something every day. We started this Girl Talk group this year and we talked to them. The first subject was respect. And one thing we always told them that we, they'll keep in mind for the rest of their years is that when we are in the teacher's zone, that is their zone, no matter what they do. For a teacher to earn my respect, um, they would have to know the subject and have respect for me. The teacher I, I had the most respect for was here from 6.30 in the morning until 8, 9 o'clock at night and this person didn't stop until they could not go anymore. <laughs> they kept working and working. Respect is given as respect is taken.